Hello loyal fans, uh, few and far between, this is uh, Zol here with uh, another uh, Unity of Command. This time it's uh, Edelweiss and um, this is a decisive victory. I think I uh, it could have been a chance for me to have had the bl brilliant victory, but as we'll see sometimes weather plays against, uh, against us and uh, that's just the way it is, so uh, let's get started here. So I start by building a bridge just to help me get across. You'll see that uh, I tend to build bridges any chance I get, just in case uh, I need to cross somewhere. Uh, attacking across uh, this river, uh, the first two units are not across the river, but after it's difficult to get across the bridge, so uh, I'm going to bring in some armor here. As you can see, that was costly, so I'm going to retreat the unit. Finally. So, across the bridge, and keep on going through. As you'll notice, I, I'm going to keep my uh, two units here, because in the previous game, Actually, I'm going to keep a unit here because in a previous game, uh, one of the, the Russian soldiers just crossed the water and uh, cut my supply line right here along this rail track. So that didn't go too well. Uh, this is uh, probably uh, maybe my fourth or fifth attempt uh, to win this victory. I already succeeded in uh, doing it in 14 turns, but this is the first time I've uh, gotten a decisive victory on this scenario. So very important, I'm going to try to connect uh, the two rail tracks. As you can see right here, uh, I happen to have uh, reorganized a unit uh, because I want to go and reinforce this one here, uh, mainly because I uh, went and added a uh, pioneer engineer step uh, to this uh, unit, so uh, for me it's more valuable and I want to reinforce it. Built a bridge right here in case I need to get across. I'm going to keep pushing uh, along that rail line, trying to connect up uh, around this junction here. As you can see, the weather is beginning to uh, play against me. It could slow me down here. Basically, uh, this has all turned to mud. And up here, I reinforce this unit with some 88 millimeter flak giving it a stronger defensive and attack capability. And I did manage to connect as you can see if you look at the, the supply lines uh, basically my supply line is uh, connected throughout. This is going to be the most important one though because it uh, it's the one that's on the rail line and also it increases by one every turn. As you can see, the weather has cleared up here, uh, which is uh, definitely going to help. If it had stayed muddy, I probably would not have gotten this decisive victory. So as you see, I'm going to make an attempt to cross the water, and that failed miserably, so uh, the second attempt was a little better. And I've uh, con connected up my supply line uh, 
across here so that units don't get out of supply. Uh, the exception being this unit here that I'm going to bring down here because I want to bring some reinforcements and that's where they deploy. And another bridge, just for the hell of it. Added an engineer step uh, to this uh, motorized unit uh, because uh, just to help me uh, uh, break through some units that are entrenched. So as you can see, this unit here is uh, out of supply, but that's a uh, necessary uh, sacrifice to make in order for me to bring in some reinforcements here that are coming in from the Crimea. This is a very important bridge that I built. As you'll see, I'll use it a lot. to my supply along the rail tracks just to make sure everyone stays in supply. So here the, uh, the Soviet AI went and uh, uh, basically uh, on the rail track there to try to cut off my supply, but since right now the range is 5, it doesn't make that much of a difference because if I go from here, I can still go uh, 5, 4, 3 and still have uh, supply there. We'll see it right here, basically it comes from there. So my aim is to try to capture this on turn 5 to get a brilliant victory, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> see that bridge I built is getting a lot of use and uh, I'm gonna continue I'm gonna press on to Elista which is an objective that has to be captured by turn 10 uh, as you can see by the objectives we have uh, my cop turn 5 northern pass turn 7 Mozdok turn 9 and uh, Nova rear 6 on turn 10 As you can see right here, this is all turned to mud, which uh, is not going to help me. Uh, useless attack on the uh, entrenched unit here. This unit will just not die. Or actually it does. Uh, well, not yet, but uh, as you can see it's still uh, hanging in there. I brought in my extra reinforcements here. No, 
now I'm going to start heading east to uh, this objective here, Mozdok. So, finally, as you can see, this uh, Mykov has been taken, and now I'm attacking the Northern Pass. And the Northern Pass is taken on turn 7, which I believe was uh, exactly what I was supposed to do. Mykov, though, I lost 50 points for being late. see these units here are very much out of supply. This one is hopelessly out of supply. This is very out of supply. and This one is one turn out of supply, so that's going to be a problem if I can't get some supply to them quickly. to come back here because this unit caused me to be out of supply so I had to reconnect my supply route so this unit's destroyed here and there's nothing basically between Avista and taken on turn 9 units are now in supply but they have a lot of suppressed steps nonetheless but uh, it was important that my engineer the unit with the engineer step make an attempt to get rid of the entrenchment here the game. This unit was uh, here taken on turn 10, so if you look at the total score, uh, 630 of 700 for the objectives, and I did uh, use uh, quite a bit of, I uh, used 105 points of prestige in order to uh, uh, beef up some units, so the total score, 725 from 900, uh, which is considered to be a decisive victory. So this is uh, Zol signing off, and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, uh, watching this uh, scenario.